Hi, I'm Jolene, the conference reporter, and I'm with Andy Rebelli, and he is the maker of... Pure Watercraft, and this is our pure outboard on the back of this boat. And for those of you who don't know what that means... Uh, this is an outboard motor system that you can put on any boat that's made for an outboard motor, and it takes it from being ten times as polluting as a car to zero pollution, and it takes it from being too loud to have a conversation to quiet enough that you can talk at normal volume. And um, can you talk about your one of your clients? Yes. Okay, and share with us because that's a good illustration. Okay, so the uh, University of Washington has a world-renowned rowing program, and the coaches there depend every day on being able to see, hear, and coach and speak to their crews. They do it for years. Coaches normally while work for while they're on the water. That's yes, exactly. And so they. Uh, they have, were the first people at University of Washington to order our outboard because they want to be able to coach and hear and do a better job than they can with a gas outboard. Nice, I can see because they would be like, hey, can you hear me? And so they don't have to, is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't, I've never heard them say that. <laughs> but I did, when we went out with them on the water, we did hear one of the rowers cheating and the coach said, you know, I've never heard him do that before. He had actually never heard what the, what the rowers say to each other before he went out on ours. Wow. Yeah. So you can get the secrets of what's happening. That's right. And one of the other things that Andy Rebelly mentioned is that, that you have a no wake because, and why is that? Um, this launch is low wake and the rowing coaches like it because they don't wake their crews. And these are very low uh, boats. So a, a wake would go over the side and put water in the boat and it really, it's not good for rowing. But as a side effect, it makes it a really efficient boat because a wake is really where you waste all your energy. So if you make a boat low wake, you make it high efficiency. So a battery with a, 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 an outboard motor system with a reasonable sized battery can go a long distance on an efficient boat like this one. I'm learning lots about boating. Pretty much I knew that they, those are vehicles in the water. But they float. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. well, thank you. Anything you'd like that we should know about this? Um, <laughs> yeah, EV electric vehicle, but also electric vessel. And, okay, is that a new term for us, EV? EV you want to EV for electric cars, oh, right? Okay. They say EV, not ED like Ed, okay. EV like vessel. And Ed is a famous uh, rower behind us. Yeah. Ed, tell us about you. Oh, uh, I got involved with Pure Watercraft probably because of my rowing connection. I rowed at the University of Washington, present yeah, five-time national champions, and I also rode in a few Olympics for the USA. But what I'm excited about is Pure Watercraft Electric Outboard, because we can really make a difference in the world. These The present-day outboards, gas outboards, are not only making a lot of carbon, which is in the atmosphere, which is not good, but some oil and gas in the water, which is also not good. So... We can help all that. I like to hear that. And I just went to Minimalist Seattle. And we were talking about um, things that are green. And so this fits right in there.